Hello friends, welcome to GP Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the Daniels cell. It is a typical galvanic cell that is designed to make the use of spontaneous redox reaction between zinc and copper to produce electrical energy. So what is Daniels cell and how does it work? In this video, we are going to understand everything about Daniels cell. So let's start. In my previous video, I have already explained about electrochemical cell. Electrochemical cell are used to convert either electrical in energy into chemical energy or chemical energy into electrical energy. There are two types of electrochemical cells. They are, the first one is electrolytic cell and the second one is galvanic or voltaic cell voltaic cell electrolytic cells example is electrolysis electrolysis of hydrochloric acid in electrolytic cell we convert electrical energy into chemical energy but in case of galvanic or voltaic cell we convert chemical energy into electrical energy an example of this is daniel's cell so simply daniel cell is an example of galvanic or voltaic cell now let's understand what daniel cell actually is and how does it work a daniel cell consists of two beakers let me draw the diagram this is the first beaker and this is the second beaker now in both the beakers one metal rod is dipped in the respective metal salt solution Similarly, in second beaker also, one metal is dipped. Look at here, the first metal in the first beaker is zinc. It is the zinc metal and this one, the second metal in the second, oh sorry, the metal in the second beaker is copper. Okay, and they are joined by an insulated wire and this is the galvanometer galvanometer that is kept that is kept over here so that we can detect the flow of electrical current now what actually happens is that they are joined by an inverted u tube this is an inverted u tube look at here this looks like u right so this is inverted u tube and this is also called salt bridge salt bridge it is called bridge because it is joining the two beakers okay and uh, in it salt is kept any type of salt like potassium chloride potassium nitrate potassium sulfate or ammonium nitrate any salt can be kept over there so k2so4 that is potassium sulfate salt is kept over here and the two end of the tube is made up of porous plug material this is porous plug similarly in this gelatin is also added the reason why gelatin is added is that they uh, their mixer will allow only the ions to pass from one beaker to another not by mixing okay that means they won't go under chemical reaction but they will allow the ions to pass from one beaker to another now what actually happens here this zinc in zinc sulfate solution and here it is copper sulfate solution so this zinc in zinc sulfate solution breaks into zn2 plus plus 2 electron minus the reason for this is the tendency of zinc to ionize in solution is greater than the tendency of copper to ionize in the solution so more amount of zinc will ionize now what will happen this zinc will ionize this will release electrons this electron will pass through the wire this electron will pass through the wire and it will go and mix to the copper here copper 2 plus ion was created this electron would come over here and 
a reaction happens and that copper uh, acquires the two electrons and it forms simply copper that just attaches or that just get deposited on the copper electrode i'll write everything first of all let's understand that so let's understand one more time the zinc gets ionized into zn2 plus and it uh, loses two electrons that two electrons will move to the copper electrode through this wire and they just uh, those two electrons will combine with the copper ion and they will deposit on copper electrode now what happens if the electrode is moving then obviously there is flow of electricity over there so this galvanometer will show the deflection that means electricity will be flowing through the galvan uh, flow, flowing through the wire let's write everything that we just discussed two beakers are taken and and jet zinc and copper electrodes electrodes are dipped dipped in zinc sulfate and copper sulfate solutions solutions in the beakers the two beakers are also joined by a salt bridge salt bridge containing containing potassium sulfate salt plus gelatin which allows the ions to move through it move through it without reacting without reacting to it with it so the salt bridge will simply allow the ions to move through it but it won't react with them that is the use of this salt bridge or simply it is just completing the circuit okay now what happens as zinc has greater tendency to ionize ionize the electrons electrons released from zinc moves through the through the wire to copper and conducts electricity conducts electricity so you can see over here as electron is moving in this direction then obviously electricity will flow in exactly opposite direction that means electricity will flow from this direction now one more thing that we need to understand over here is that look at here uh, zinc is releasing electrons that means it must be negative terminal of the battery right so it is the anode it is the anode similarly this copper is gaining the electrons that means it must be the positive terminal of the battery and that's why this is the cathode now what actually happens in both of the beakers reactions are happening in one of them oxidation reaction happens in another one of them reduction reaction happens that's why they are called oxidation half and reduction half or simply you can say that the both the beakers are collectively called half shells among them one of them is oxidation half another one is reduction half now that is the working method of daniel cell now let's see the reactions involved in daniel cell so in the first beaker in the first beaker what is happening over there zinc is losing electron and it is converting into the ionic form of it that is zinc is converting into z and 2 plus then what do we see oxidation number is increasing so obviously this is oxidation reaction this is the oxidation reaction or simply you can say that loss of electron loss of electron means oxidation loss of electron is oxidation as zinc is losing electron as well as 
zinc's oxidation number is increasing what is the charge of zinc over here zero what is the charge of zinc over here plus two so its oxidation number is increasing so this is the oxidation reaction and similarly in the second beaker copper ion or cuprous ion is gaining two electrons and it is converting into the copper metal now what do we see over here the oxidation number is decreasing so this is reduction reaction or simply you can say that gain of electrons gain of electrons results in reduction reaction it is the reduction reaction here the charge of copper is plus 2 here the charge of copper is zero as that means the charge is decreasing that is oxidation number is decreasing as well as it is gaining two electrons so you can consider in any way as this is reduction reaction right so you can simply say that in the first beaker oxidation process is happening so this is oxidation half and in the second beaker reduction process is happening so this is reduction half this was very simple to know right now in daniel cell we observe many things let's see few of the observations that we make one by one the first observation that we make is the weight of zinc decreases gradually so there is the decrease in weight of zinc gradually that is all the zinc metal will be converting into zinc ions obviously the weight of zinc will keep on decreasing the second observation is the concentration the concentration of zinc ion in aqueous form that is zinc ion is increases increases gradually so the concentration of zinc ion in the solution keeps on increasing as zinc is so in corrosion nature all the zincs are converting into zinc ion similarly the first of third observation that we make is the weight of copper increases increases the reason for that is the copper ion gains electrons and gets discharged discharged to give copper and that that gets deposited deposited on it so the third observation that we make is the weight of this copper electrode keeps on increasing the reason for that is the copper ion gains electron that converts into copper and all those copper gets deposited on the copper electrode so as a result of that the weight of this copper ion it increases similarly the fourth observation that we make is the concentration the concentration of cuprous ion decreases the reason for that is all the cuprous ion are gaining electrons and they are converting into copper so the concentration of cuprous ion decreases and finally the fifth observation that we make is that we get is there is flow of current through the through the external external circuit so there is the flow of electrical current through the external circuit and this is the fifth or ob fifth observation that we make here one thing should be noted that uh, direction of direction of electron is direction of electron is zinc to copper that is anode to cathode right then the direction 
of current i will be from copper to zinc that is cathode to anode so these are the five observations that we make in daniel's cell so by after doing all these what do we see two types of reaction happens over there one oxidation reaction one uh, reduction reaction and the combination of oxidation and redox reduction reaction is called a redox reaction so the overall redox reaction is overall redox reaction that we get is here z zinc and cuprous ions are combining zinc forms z and 2 plus and cuprous ion gets converted to copper so this is the overall redox reaction that happens in daniel cell because of which spontaneous electrical energy is generated spontaneous means self generated this process will keep on happening we don't have to do any other thing over after that and, and this reaction is represented by uh, zinc is converted into zn2 plus right give double lines and cuprous ion is converting to copper so this is the cell representation of daniel's cell so this is all about daniel's cell so this is all about daniel's cell in this video we understood what daniel's cell actually is what are the observations that we make in daniel's cell how does it work along with the diagram and different chemical reactions involved in it that's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.